Hello and welcome. My name is Kevin Ashton. I'm a chef and food writer and today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious and yet easy to make plum fruit topping. And yet it's so versatile. You can top your yogurt with it, you can put it on top of your porridge or you can use it as a low calorie dessert. So let's get started. On the board I have my ingredients. I have 400 grams of plums, I've got 50 grams of cherries, but that's an optional extra. You don't need to have the cherries. We've got some sour cherries, and I like to use these sour cherries that are from Lidl. We're going to use about 250 grams of this Morello cherry jam. I'm going to flavor it today with cinnamon. Sometimes I like to use fresh ginger and sometimes I like to use cinnamon. But the cinnamon will go really well with the cherries. We're going to thicken up our sauce with some custard powder or if you don't have custard powder you can use corn flour. And we're going to mix the custard powder with some orange and lemon juice. So I'm going to show you how to, we're cutting the plums up. So I'm trying to get my knife as close as I can to the stone on both sides and then each half I'm cutting into three little equal wedges and we'll repeat the same with the other half and with the centerpiece we're going to cut off like that and then we don't want to waste any so we're going to cut the ends off as well so we've used as much as possible and we throw the stone away. I'll show you one more time we'll cut the plum either side of the stone, cut the plum halves into three equal size wedges and then try to cut as close as you can to the stone to use as much of the plums as we can. Really simple. So we have 250 grams of the cherry jam in my saucepan. And we're going to put this on a low heat, but first we're going to add the juice of half an orange into the jam. And I don't use lots of juicing devices, I just use my hands. Just make sure that my hands are clean and sanitized. And then I'm just going to put my fingers into the center of the orange and work the orange around to get all that juice out. Just keep working that orange around your fingers. That's good. So we're now going to take that to the stove. So we're going to heat this up on a medium heat and bring this up to a simmer and then we want to thicken it. And we're going to thicken it with some custard powder. If you don't have custard powder you can use corn flour. We're going to use one tablespoon of custard powder to do that and we're going to mix it in with the lemon juice. So we're going to add our sour cherries. Make sure we get all of that juice in there. And we're next going to add some cinnamon. We're going to add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I think half is going to be plenty. I did think about putting more in than that but I think half a teaspoon is going to be fine. Give that a good stir in. Make sure that's all completely dissolved into the jam before we start to thicken it up. Right, in this bowl I have my tablespoon of custard powder. If you don't have custard powder you can use corn flour together with the juice of half a lemon. And we're going to stir that in. I'm going to hold on to the spoon so it doesn't drop into the into the saucepan as we mix this in. And keep this moving all the time because we don't want to get lumps. Now we want to bring it back up to a boil and we want it to thicken up before we add our plums. So I want to give you some idea of how thick it is now. It's quite thick. Remember we used a good tablespoon of uh, custard powder uh, together with the lemon juice 
and you want it to be quite thick because when you put your plums in the water will come out of the plums and will thin the sauce down a little bit. So now we're ready to add our plums to the jam. We want to give it a good stir. And we've turned also the heat down to low because we don't want to overcook the plums. This will take about another three to four minutes to cook those plums. So the plums have been cooking now for four minutes, four and a half minutes, and you can see absolutely delicious. They're cooked about three quarters of the way because they'll finish off cooking as they cool down. We're gonna pour this in a moment, we're gonna pour this into a plastic container, but first we're gonna add our 50 grams of fresh cherries and they will just cook in the residual heat of your jam mixture. So we'll just give those a stir in and then we'll take our topping off the stove. Does that look absolutely delicious? 